I'm Jonathan Schreier from the U.S. Department of State, where I act as the Special Representative for Global Food Security. I'm also involved in the leadership of the U.S. Global Hunger and Food Security Initiative, known as Feed the Future, for which I am the Deputy Coordinator for Diplomacy. Jonathan, UPSI is all about the government pledging money, but it's also about tracking the funding, isn't it? Well, that's right. I mean, essentially, um, tracking of funding is is useful. It's um, important because uh, we need um, inputs in the development process. Um, but what matters for a person who is hungry or impoverished or undernourished is what the results are. And mm. so we need to look at the outputs of our efforts. That's things like the number of farmers who have been reached with new training um, or reached by extension services. And that output, that the outcome that we want is that that farmer is able to plant more effectively and uh, reach markets more effectively and earn more income for his or her family. Um, that's the outcome, and the outcome then becomes increased income, and, uh, uh, reduced policy, uh, sorry, poverty prevalence in a particular country or in a particular region. Those are the outcomes that we really care about, ultimately. At the meeting in Maputo, you also discussed the importance of research and development in the fight against hunger. Can you give us some examples for that? Um, so uh, uh, the, the examples in research and development are, are, are many. I mean, an example from our own uh, programming in the U.S. Um, is the, the progress that we've made in managing inputs in the uh, in, in agricultural development. And, and so um, in, in Bangladesh, we had a very successful program um, where fertilizer in the form of urea um, is is uh, manufactured into um, pellets that can be placed deep underground near the roots of the plant. So this is deep urea placement, a way of better targeting the fertilizer, which improves the uh, cost uh, uh, the cost benefit ratio. You then use the less fertilizer. That also reduces environmental impacts because you're targeting and only using what you need. And so that's an example of a research breakthrough that's being disseminated and adopted for improved agricultural productivity. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pascal.